working with someone in a backline or supine position, oftentimes what I'm going to cue the student patient to do is to bring their knees up as that provides a little less stress on the lumbar spine. Whether or not you realize it, when your legs are straight here, your lumbar spine goes into more lower doses. You have a little bit more of a curve. So oftentimes, I'm bringing things up, okay? Let's imagine that Annie here is someone that we're working to get up, say, for the first time and has very um, little movement. One of the most functional things for moving around in a supine position is doing a bridge. Do you know how to do a bridge? Have you done any? Okay, so bridge is simply go ahead and put the hands to the side, okay? And push down with your hands and go ahead and bridge up. Okay, so bridging for someone that's had a stroke or a weakness is a great glute and stomach exercise. It's also a good way that if I needed you to scoot over to the right side, you can push down, bottom comes there, right? And see how you can move. So bridging is not only a good functional exercise, but also very good for being more independent with bed mobility. Okay, so Annie is all of five feet tall, right? And that's, that's I'm rounding up with that, right? Okay, and, and, and again, the movements are a bit like a dance. So if I were also five feet tall, I might do it different. I might get a second person, okay? Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Annie from uh, a supine position with the hip and knees flex into a sitting position, okay? And first I'm gonna show you how to do it with Annie um, needing total assistance, okay? And so one way we do is we would actually have Annie do a log roll. I tend to stand over here, that, and that way you know, hey, you're not falling off the edge of the bed. That's something that folks get really kind of nervous about. And so I'm gonna have you roll over, and I'm gonna cue you with your left hand, go ahead and reach over here, okay? So I want Annie to do as much as she can, and she's gonna come to a completely sideline position, okay? And I'm right here, right? So you know you're not gonna fall, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna have things be completely symmetrical here. So I'm gonna say, I want you to push with, with your hand here. I also want you to push with the back of your elbow down here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring hand under here, You've got longer hair. I do, certainly. And then I'm going to bring the legs forward and then lever up as you go. Okay? Now, can you see how that is um, kind of one fell swoop movement? And I've also kept your spine in a fairly stable position. Okay?